Hi everyone, welcome to Celebration Sunday. Today we are talking about the Stylist Sketches stamp set. This one is, it's really cute. I bought it, well I didn't buy it, I earned it for free. Sorry, my ring light. Um, but I got it because of this little grouping right here, these little ducks. I just, I love, I love ducks. They're, they're probably my favorite, favorite bird. Um, and so I got it for, for just those little ducks, but I'm going to show you three cards using all three of those images, but we'll get into that in just a second. Um, before we do all of that, I want to go over a ton of stuff and I actually have a ton of stuff sitting in front of me. So let's, let's just jump into it. It's going to take a minute to get through everything. I have, um, well, okay. The sweet sunflowers paper pumpkin kit is, is coming out in August. This is August paper pumpkin. If you want August Paper Pumpkin, you need to subscribe by August 10th. That is the last day to subscribe to guarantee that you're going to get the August Paper Pumpkin. And it is going to be gorgeous. You're going to get two ink spots. You'll get an exclusive stamp set. You'll get supplies for nine cards. And they're going to be like two-step stamping cards. So it's going to be a really fun technique. I think just based on the box, it's going to be gorgeous. So um, I know there's going to be like gold accents and stuff. It's going to be so pretty. This is this is going to be a good one. I'm actually considering getting two of these because I think that they're going to be so, so good. So um, make sure you subscribe by August 10th if you want August Paper Pumpkin. There's a link in the video description. All right, if you were in a state that offers a tax holiday, a back-to-school tax holiday, make sure you check out my post. I did post in my social media um a link to this chart. I know that it the print is super small, but the states that are doing back to school tax holidays, a lot of them offer for tax free on some of the stuff that we sell too, like our watercolor pencils, our markers, all of our adhesives, um, the grid paper, blender pens, all of those those kinds of things you can get tax free, um, and that includes um, stamp and blends too. So if you are if you need to stock up on stamp and blends do it during the tax-free holiday or if you just if you want to get started with stamp and blends and buy a bunch of them do it during the tax-free holiday you're not going to pay tax on them so um, make sure to check if your state is on here make sure to check what is eligible not everything is eligible in all states so just make sure to check um let's see what are we are july 31st so right now let's see florida you are going on right now and next week um arkansas um Missouri, New Mexico, Ohio, you're all coming, Illinois, all next week. So um, watch for that if you are in those states. Um, I know our tax free, I'm in New Mexico and our tax free is next weekend and it is, um, it's coming up. <laughs> so I'm getting an order ready. Um, all right, I announced earlier this week my card crate for August. This is my class to go. This comes to your mailbox. And for August, I am fe featuring the Ringed with Nature bundle. This is an amazing bundle. This is a hybrid bundle. So you're going to get not only dies, but you're going to get an embossing folder with it. And your the stamp set is fantastic too. Now I'm going to show you four cards, how to make these in the class. You're going to get $20 in product. And if you need to add on the bundle to your card crate, you absolutely can. Um, so you're going to make four cards. I'm just going to give you a quick sneak peek. You're going to make two Christmas cards and two just all occasion cards. They are gorgeous, gorgeous cards. I have had so much fun with this ringed of nature bundle, ringed with nature bundle. So if you want this, um, card crate, make sure you head to the, um, link in the video description, get all the details on how to register for that. And let me know the last day to register for a card crate will be August 12th, I believe. August 12th or 13th. I think it's the 12th. Um, so make sure that you jump on that right away. Um, card crate is $35. Like I said, you get $20 in product. It's such a good deal. Um, and then if you do need to add on the stamp set, just let me know. And when you add on the stamp set, you also get to choose a celebration item. So um, a level one celebration item, you get to choose a $50 celebration item and you'll get that with your registration. So check the link in the video description. All right, guys, um, let's see. Before we get to that, let's talk about this. Don't forget, during celebration, when you join my team, you get this amazing making plans kind of suite of products. You get this great stamp set. This is fantastic to use. If you're a, like a planner, um, journaler kind of thing, this is great for your planner. There's like list stamps, all the little, you know, things that you can stamp in your planner. This little one I love. I love that for a background. And then even these little solid ones, the thanks, where is it? Thank you. Um, you can use this for just regular everyday cards too. So you get the stamp set, you get three beautiful notebooks. I just love these notebooks. And let's see, there's um, like a dot grid pattern in one of them. 
There's just um, blank pages in another, and then this one is a lined notebook. So you get three different kinds of notebooks. And I gotta tell you, like the dot grid, oh, that's not the dot grid. Which one is the dot grid? The Calypso Coral one is the dot grid. This is my favorite kind of notebook. I I have lots of notebooks with this little dot grid. I stock up on them during school supply season because you can usually find them pretty readily during school supply season. But I use these to sketch out all of my classes. When I plan classes, I always, um, I pull out my, my dot grid note notebooks and I actually sketch everything out because, you know, it's kind of like connecting the dots when you're, when you're kind of sketching a card. And so I use, um, these kind of notebooks for all of my class planning, or if I just have an idea or a project, you know, that I want to make at a later date, I will pull out one of these notebooks and sketch it all out. All right. All, in addition, you get the stamp set, you get the notebooks, you also get this amazing and gorgeous planner. It has a pretty strong magnet, and you're going to get 18 months worth of planning. So you're going to get from July 2020 all the way to December 2023. So you're going to get a huge, um, you know, 18 months planning. You also get these amazing little um, sticker sheets that you can add in your planner, and, you know, the bookmark there are day sheets there are monthly spreads it is a beautiful beautiful planner so if you want this free the only way to get this is to join stampin up you can join my team there's a link in the video description and that is the only way to earn this gorgeous planner so if you've been thinking about it if your wish list is a little bit longer you might want to consider joining my team this is a 45 dollars value so it's a huge huge value when you join stampin up you pay 99 dollars, and then you choose 125 in products so already you're getting some amazing free products um and then during celebration they just make it a little bit more enticing by adding that planner and that's an additional 45 dollars free all right if you are shopping make sure to use this house code this is the last day for this house code this is july's house code so if you're shopping today use this house code if you plan on shopping later in the week or in august check my social media i will have my new house code posting tomorrow morning and also check my blog all right, let's talk celebration. Today, like I said, we are using the Stylish Sketches stamp set. I did check the Stampin' Up! demonstrator website this morning, and there are a few things that are currently unavailable. Now, according to their website, they will be coming back the week of August 8th. So that is the Rings of Love DSP. That's coming back on August 8th, according to the the inventory report that I looked at this morning and this one is currently unavailable too but it should be coming back the week of August 8th the other one that I saw that was currently unavailable is the tree lot dies they don't have a date that this is coming back yet so let's cross our fingers and hope that it is coming back but currently this is not orderable right now but um, there are still lots of other celebration offerings you can get choose including this one which is the one we're gonna use today um, now this one doesn't have any greetings so for greetings today I'm gonna pull in my inspired thought stamp set this is in the annual catalog it is a really really good stamp set for greetings it kind of covers like an entire gamut of um, greetings yeah thank you birthday sympathy all kinds of things all right so this is the card we are making today isn't it cute and I'm gonna show you two other cards using um those images in the stamp set i'll show you those at the end but this is the card we're making today it is so so cute i told you guys i love those little ducks they're my favorite and it just occurred to me i didn't get any of my <laughs> my stamp and blends out so let me grab those real quick at least the ones i'm gonna need um fortunately they are they're right in front of me so i can grab them real quick but i like to have them on hand all right let's start with let's start with our stamping so i'm gonna need a scrap piece of white basic white and we're going to stamp with memento of course because we're using blends if you are coloring with maybe watercolor pencils or you're doing just some watercoloring you'll want to stamp on a different kind of paper maybe shimmery white or um watercolor paper and then make sure you use a stays on ink but with stampin blends the memento is perfect um and stampin blends is really my my preference for coloring I tried I try watercoloring and it just never looks the way I want it to look so I always I always go back to Stampin' Blends. All right we're gonna color our little ducks here. Um, I'm gonna use pale papaya this is the dark pale papaya. I'm just gonna use that for their beaks and their feet and we're just I'm not gonna do any blending on their beaks and their feet. I tr I didn't want them to be like super starkly orange that's why I'm going with pale papaya. I just wanted a more kind of subtle look on these guys with the beaks and the feet but if you want a a more prominent orange you can use maybe pumpkin pie would be good for that all right 
I'm going to start with my dark soft suede and we're going to start with our little girl duck over here. She is on the right. The boy duck's always fancier. So for the girl duck, um, for the dark, I'm going to kind of go down her neck like this and then around her body, around the edge of her head, like this kind of the same way, just kind of highlighting that her little neck part. And then I think, I think that's it for the dark. We don't want to make her too, too dark. Actually, I'm going to leave that open. We're going to come back to that in a second. And then with my light soft suede, I'm just going to kind of blend those dark areas. We'll just kind of go over all of hers. Um, okay, so while I'm coloring, let me talk about the my Facebook Live schedule coming up. So normally I go live every Wednesday, every Wednesday morning. Uh, I am finding that increasingly harder to go live on, on Wednesdays, especially with my husband working from home and especially with these last couple weeks of summer the kids schools keep scheduling things on Wednesday morning that we have to go to for um, you know like school prep or like last Wednesday we had to do like IDs for my son for his high school so I had to take him down and get his ID to stand in a really long line um, but we just have those kinds of things coming up we have just more back to school stuff that we have to take care of this Wednesday. So this Wednesday, again, I will not be live. Now, the good thing is, is that the 10th, the following Wednesday, they go back to school. Thank God. Um, so I should be back to my Facebook live schedule on August 10th. But again, this week, I will not be able to go live. And um, but I do have another pre recorded video. So make sure you check my blog on Wednesday because that is coming up. Now, you'll see what I do you see what I kind of did? I used my dark soft suede and just kind of went on that bottom part of the male duck there just to kind of give him some shading and then I blended that out with the light soft suede. Okay, so it's a back to school season, guys. I'm telling you, kids, they'll get you. All right, so I have my dark and my light smoky slate and we're going to do this for the rest of the bottom half of the, the male duck and I'm going to add some dark kind of on his wing here and back here on his tail. We're going to add some dark and then right here under his neck, I'm going to add some dark. And then the rest will just be filled in with the, the smoky slate. Okay. That is, is the top of our little, or the bottom, the bottom of our little male duck there. Isn't he cute? He's already so cute. Now for his head, I'm going to use shaded spruce. I'm going to use dark and light shaded spruce. Now the dark, I'm only going to add kind of on the back of his head right here, kind of around his face. Just like that. I'm only very little dark. This is a small area, so you don't need to add too much. And then we'll just blend that out with the, with the light soft suede. Make sure you leave that little kind of ring around his, his neck. He's got like a white ring around his neck. So make sure you leave that. And that's it. That's our little ducks all colored up. Aren't they cute? Now, unfortunately, there are no dyes to coordinate with the stylist sketches stamp set. So you will have to fussy cut that, but thanks to the, the magic of television, I've already, I've already done one in advance. So we have that one ready to go. All right, now let's do the rest of our stamping. We do have a little bit more stamping. So I have a um, die cut layer here from the layering diorama dies. Let's see. Let me grab them out. I got all the dies out that I wanted that I'm using to show you guys. So from the layering diorama dies, I think this is the second largest or the second smallest. Yeah, does it go that way? Yeah, it's the second smallest of those layering diorama dice. Those are so much fun. If you haven't gotten those, make sure you grab those. Those are good. Um, and then we'll get to the rest of those in a second. So let's do some stamping. And I also have a piece of white that is four by five and a quarter. And this is going to go on the inside. This is a darker color cardstock. And so for the inside, I like to just put a little bit of, of shading on the inside. Now I'm going to get some scrap paper. This is heavily used scrap paper, as you can see. <laughs> I'm going to use my Balmy Blue ink. This is die cut from Balmy Blue. I'm going to use those little um, kind of splatters, polka dots that's in that stamp set. And I'm just going to add this all over my, my little Balmy Blue diorama piece. It doesn't have to be perfect. They can overlap. We're just adding lots of fun texture. All right, now with the for the inside, I'm going to pull out my memento again. And this is the my inside greeting. It just says, you make a difference every day. We're going to put... Thank you so much on the front. Let me move the scrap paper out of the way. I don't need that anymore. Um, now, chances are good I'm not going to get this straight. But that's okay because 
it tells your recipient that whoever you send this to, your friend, your family, whoever you send it to, that this is homemade. It's not perfect. You made this. So if it's a little crooked, which it is, it's okay. I never stand my greenies straight. Now, if you want it completely straight, you probably need to pull out your stamparatus, but let's face it, I, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I am making I'm making cards. This would be a great stack of cards to make for, for some friends. Okay. Let's let's move on though. We are going to emboss this greeting here. This is white embossed. Now in the mini catalog, one of my absolute favorite products is this this embossing heat embossing toolkit. This is seriously one of my favorite favorite things. When I saw this in the mini catalog, I think I kind of screamed out loud. Our embossing buddy is back. So if you do a lot of heat embossing, you really need your embossing buddy. So this is kind of like a powder filled bag. It will take away all the static. You just kind of want to wipe it on your cardstock, put it back in the little bag, keep it nice and secure. Um, I keep this in, the de in my desk right next to me at all times. We're going to do some white heat embossing. I'm going to use Versamark for this. So I'm just going to stamp it. We're going to trim this out with our paper trimmer. So just anywhere on there. I'm just using some basic gray cardstock now. Make sure you close your ink pad before you get your embossing powder out. Just ask me how I know that that's a disaster. All right, so I'm gonna put my paper in my little tray here and I keep my embossing powders in these little containers. They do come in little jars. I keep them in this little container and I'm just gonna sprinkle that on, knock it off because we use that little embossing buddy. There's gonna be no excess little pieces around. If there does happen to be a little stray adhesive, you can use your little brush you want now to clean this up again clean up before you get your heat tool out again ask me how I know so I'm just gonna remove the little the lid there and then I'm just going to use my brush and I'm just gonna funnel all of this back into my container so I can reuse it so no waste and I'm telling you embossing powder will last forever you think like you're gonna run out of it and you never do it's ridiculous it will last forever so, and then screw your little, oh, don't do that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to clean this up later. Um, you'll screw your lid on. Don't drop it in your embossing powder. I love embossing, but I, I swear every time I try to do it, it is a, it turns into a mess. But that um, little tray will keep it nice and contained. Now, the final thing in that embossing kit is, are these little tweezers. They're going to hold your little piece of paper so that you don't burn your fingers. Again, Ask me how I know. So I am heating up my heat tool off to the side about 10, 15 seconds. I'm gonna get it nice and hot so that when we do emboss it, it's going to go really quick. And I hope you guys can see that. It goes from like a powder to a shiny bright white. So cute, so pretty. And that's it. So pretty. And my fingers were not burned in this process. All right, so if you have any of that excess powder, you can just wipe that off. We're gonna trim this pretty close to the close to the greeting, so I'm not worried about that powder. So I'm gonna trim that pretty much to the height of the words. We just want a super skinny little greeting here. I'm gonna get that a little closer. Just be careful if you're using a little guillotine trimmer like this. Don't cut off your fingers. I like to live dangerously. I took my guard off, so. I can get my fingers nice and close to that blade and live dangerously. All right, there's our there's our heat embossed greeting. I love that white embossed greeting on that darker cardstock. All right, let's put it all together. Let's talk about the rest of our card pieces here. So I have a card base. This is soft suede that is eight and a half by five and a half, and I scored it at four and a quarter to make your standard card. I have a piece that is four by five and a quarter. This is also soft suede and I die cut it using the split texture card dies. These dies are pretty awesome. Actually, these are my mom's dies. I borrowed them. Um, but um, they are fantastic. So you just die cut this. There's a couple different patterns and I just, I love these. I think I'm going to have to get my own, my own set of those dies because they are so much fun. So we're just going to go for a tone on tone look on our card here. If you wanted a different look, if you wanted this to stand out more, you could die cut it in a different color for sure. Um, I have a piece that is one and a half by five and I have already run this through my um, fall 
leaf fall this is my leaf fall embossing folder this is in the mini catalog you guys this embossing folder is so gorgeous can you see all that texture on there I missed this embossing folder like the first four times I went through the catalog I actually saw another demonstrator use this embossing folder and that was the only way I knew it was in there it's kind of hidden so look for it um it's linked in the video it will be linked in my YouTube video description. It will be linked on my blog, but it is gorgeous. It's probably my favorite new embossing folder. You'll see it a ton. And I think that's all of my pieces. So let's get putting this together. So let's get our little inside piece here. Let's put that together. Let's see, do I have adhesive? I'm about to run out of this adhesive. So if I run out, we'll switch to my, and I did. <laughs> we'll switch it to Stampin' Seal Plus now. I knew that was coming, it was, um, it was getting close so your white piece will go inside this will give you room to write your message and then this one I'm actually gonna use some liquid glue because I just want to get around these edges I'm I didn't leave it too big of a border so I'm just gonna, gonna do some some light little dots but I just want to make sure that this little side is adhered down and then we'll make sure this is adhered down nice and well but these little split texture dies these are fantastic and they add so much amazing, amazing texture. All right. So cute. So I hope you guys can see all that fun texture. All right. Our little, our shaded spruce piece here. I'm going to wrap with some, this is our crumb cake twine from the Essentials Baker's Twine Pack. I'm going to wrap this around and we're going to tie a bow. We'll see. I'm going to tie a bow here. I like to tie a knot with Baker's twine because that will hold everything in place. Then I can kind of like adjust things over here before we, we get into our bow. So I just want, want this to go up a little bit. There we go. Let me cut this off. I can't, I can't work on this fool, you guys. All right. We're going to cut that off. We're going to make a nice little bow with our Baker's twine. Baker's twine is probably one of my favorite ribbons. I love the Essentials twine pack. It comes in white, vanilla, crumb cake, gray. It's like gray granite, uh, might be smoky slate, um, and black. So it's a fantastic little package of Baker's twine. All right, finesse, finesse your bows and trim your ends. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And this is going on with dimensionals, because why not? Dimensionals all day long, right? I was saying earlier that this would make a really cute stack of cards. There are three images, and remember, I'm going to show you two more cards made with this stamp set at the end, and I'm just going to use the same exact layout. Um, but you can make a couple of each card, maybe two or three of each card, and this would be a great little stack of cards to to give to somebody, to give to somebody. Okay, we're going to put our little um, layering diorama dies there. I'm going to put a dimensional on this side, and then on this side, I'm just going to put some adhesive because it's going to sit flat against here. Just like that. Our ducks, you guessed it, they're going on with dimensionals. A couple dimensionals on the back of our ducks. They're my favorite. They're so cute. They're going to go on here. And then our greeting, you can use glue dots. I'm just going to use some, some of my liquid glue here. Try not to squeeze it too hard. I don't want a ton of it to splurt out. All right. All right, we have one more finishing touch to do. These are our festive pearls. These are in the um, holiday catalog. And I'm gonna use some of the gold ones on here. Just three of them kind of scattered around. And that gold is just, it's really gonna pop off that soft suede, which I love. All right, so this is card number one. Aren't those ducks adorable? They are so cute. And then on the inside, you make a difference every day. I think that's such, um, an uplifting greeting. All right, so I told you I was going to show you the, the other one. So here's our stamp set. There are two other greetings. This one, um, I colored kind of to look like a coyote here, like here in New Mexico, we have coyotes. So I used um, soft, not soft suede, smoky slate for this one, smoky slate for my card base. I used that same shaded spruce for my layering diorama die here. I used basic gray. So it's the same color as my greeting. And then I added the, the gray twine and then the silver pearls from that pearls from those pearls so that's number two and then for the third one this little branch of i think they kind of look like figs 
I don't, I don't know if that's what they are, but I think they kind of look like figs. Um, so I use a Blackberry Bliss for this. I used Balmy Blue again for my layering diorama. And then again, I used that shaded spruce. Um, and then I colored these. Um, this one is colored with Blackberry Bliss and shaded spruce. This one was Smoky Slate. I think I said that, but um, again, they all have the same greeting and the same everything, but just some color changes. All right, guys, so that is Stylist Sketches today for Celebration Sunday. Remember, you can earn this one for free with a qualifying $50 order through August or while supplies last. And again, I will not be live on Wednesday, but I do have a video going up on my blog, so make sure you check first thing Wednesday morning for a super cute video on my blog. If you are shopping, this is the last day to shop with July's host code. Tomorrow will be a brand new host code for August. If you are watching this on Facebook, please share this with your crafty friends. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps my business grow and it's free and you never miss a video. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and I will make sure to respond to them. I hope you guys enjoy these cards and I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you guys next week for another Celebration Sunday. Bye.